Welcome to another episode of Liquor with Lenore. I'm your host, George Lenore, visual artist here in Atlanta, Georgia. I own LenoreDesigns.com and WebPaintATA.com. Uh, today I have a guest, uh, my neighbor, DJ Jermaine Wright. AKA DJ Main Source of Main Source Productions. I run a local mobile DJ service here and also I do a podcast of up and coming artists. And it goes by Studio 118. And uh, you can check us both out for the DJ service at Main Source Productions on Instagram. And also on Instagram for Studio 118 is MSP Studio 118. Okay, that's what's up. Now, we were talking a couple weeks ago, and you said that you like whiskey. Um, so I found this up at Sigma. It's basically called Cast and Crew. All right, so it has some walnut tones in it, some toffee tones. So I'm thinking it might be kind of on the sweet side. And also it's a part rye and part corn whiskey. Um, so we're gonna be testing this out today. Um, and I believe it's 70 proof, so it shouldn't be that strong, but we're gonna see. And you know how we do, we do a shot, we put it on the rocks, and then we do a mixed drink. So stay tuned, we're gonna go ahead and pop this open in a minute. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. And uh, since you're our guest, I'm gonna allow you to open it and pour it. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Do the honors. Let's see here. Of course, I have no nails. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Epic fail already. <laughs> you see it? You know they make these things childproof. Yeah, I see. And <laughs> idiot proof too. <laughs> No, it's kind of sweet there. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Really? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, get that smell to it. I do smell some alcohol. Yeah, smell alcohol. Smell, smell that toffee. Yeah, smell the toffee. Kind of got some, maybe some smoky notes. Cheers. Cheers. Smooth on mine. Yeah, it's smooth. Um, not that much heat. Um, got more. To me, I got more alcohol taste. Yeah, I, I guess I'm a little drinking now, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't really feel that much alcohol, but I, I do sense that uh, sweetness. Okay. Um, like right now, like I said, now I am feeling a little burn yeah. in the back of the throat now. Just a but, little bit. Uh, it's not like it's overpowering. No. Um, but I do taste the alcohol in it. I do taste the sweetness. Um, probably that toffee. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm getting a walnut. Flavor. Yeah, I don't taste the walnut at all. Okay. okay. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and throw this on the rocks in a minute. We'll be right back. All right, so we back for the second round. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the rocks. Um, like we were saying, that first round was kind of on the sweet side. Yes. Uh, didn't really have no bite. Real no. smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour us a, a, another shot, throw it on the rocks. I had to go off on Jermaine because I, I felt he was kind of light-handed. So yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to wear out my welcome already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be, we're gonna make up for it on this this round. All right, cheers. Cheers. That's smooth. Yeah, that most definitely. Yeah. Real, real smooth. Smooth, smooth as that. Smooth as that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um. That alcohol taste for me just totally went away. Mm -hmm. Now you're just getting that sweetness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That toffee. I haven't tasted that uh, walnut yet, though. I don't know yeah, about it's, you. It's missing the walnut flavor. <clears throat> yeah, but I, I can see sipping on this. Yeah. That's definitely. Mm -hmm. yes. now, now, one thing, um, <clears throat> if you're drinking to get drunk, I don't think it's gonna do it. Or if you're drinking to get a buzz, it's not gonna get you there. But if you just wanna sip on something, you know, 
Yeah, I, I said a nice like cigar with it. Uh, okay. This, you know, this will go pair perfectly with a cigar in my opinion. Okay. Get you a groovy blue. You be good. <laughs> All right, Pete. When well, he's finished, I'm about to finish mine up in one second, and then we be back with a mixed drink. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, we just finished the first and second round, so we just finished on the rocks. And what do you think about on the rocks? Yeah, like you said, like we said earlier, that uh, it really smoothed and you know uh, leveled everything out, and. Uh, it's just a perfect, I think you could pair it perfectly with anything. Like, you know, like I said, a cigar or, you know, if you just want to just unwind after a long day at work or what have you, it's a perfect, I think, selection okay. of whiskey to, you know, to sip on. You sip on, yep. Okay, I agree with that. And those natural flavors, you yeah, know. Yeah, the natural flavors do come through. And um, yeah, we did mention that earlier. There's no artificial flavors in this. Everything is natural, which is real cool. Um, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, since this is kind of sweet, we're just going to go ahead and do a half and half, one part whiskey and one part uh, ginger beer. And that should cut some of that sweetness down. And basically, this is a, a generic Moscow Mule. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Moscow Mule, if I'm not mistaken, has like uh, mint leaves in it. Yeah, so that should get rid of some of the uh, sweetness. So I'm gonna give you some carbonation. All right, All right. cheers. Oh yeah, most definitely. Okay. Sweetness, mm -hmm. you know, the ginger, which I love that little aftertaste ginger yeah. gives you. <laughs> yeah, and I love ginger beer because it's so strong. And uh, I did go with the sugar-free ginger beer since mm -hmm. it was already sugar in here. So, so for all you diabetics out there, <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you got any final takes? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Like I said, uh, I can see myself uh, pairing this once again with a nice stove, just relaxing on a nice day, you know what I'm saying, whether it's fall or summer or spring. So most definitely, I believe that that's something I will pick up in the future. Okay. <clears throat> and also one thing I would say too is if you're like a first time whiskey drinker, I think this would be perfect for you because you're not getting hit in the jaw. Yeah, with, exactly. With yeah. hundred proof That's alcohol, right, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So this would transition you into a whiskey if you want to to try a whiskey and you haven't. Um, <clears throat> so I highly recommend it. It's, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, most definitely. Mm -hmm. most but definitely. once again, you know, if you're trying to get a buzz, it ain't gonna really get 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 you there. Um, but as far as taste profile. Taste profile is 100. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100. I agree. Like I said, it's like nothing that you don't say. You're like, uh, <laughs> it's just smooth. <laughs> All right, Jermaine. Well, I want to well, I thank you for coming on to the show today. And um, we're going to go ahead and finish this up and have some men conversation. And sure. we'll talk to you later. All right. This has been another episode of Liquor with Lenore. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay abreast of our content. And be sure to drink responsibly.